Hey everybody, this is Darth Tomanis here, and today I am recording another episode on Feed the Beast. That's right. Now, you may not realize this because of the way that I do my release schedule, but it's been about two weeks since I've actually loaded up this world. Um, and I mentioned before, I, I record and set my, my scheduler to release two videos a week, so it's been two weeks since I've gotten on here and recorded. So I've had uh, some time away. Um, I, I really don't like that I've spent so much time away. Um, it's just we got a, a puppy and you know, I don't know if you've ever had a puppy. Um, they require a lot of attention. A whole lot of attention. Um, so anytime I'd you know try to play or something like that, puppy would destroy everything in my life. Um, and, you know, it's hard because I spend a lot of time with the kids, too. So it's like I got the kids and then got this little puppy. Um, so I just haven't had much time to, <laughs> as a pig, slowly met his dem demise. Haven't had a whole lot of time just to play um, and have fun. Um, but I get two today. I get a to play today. So today what we're going to do is we're going to uh, finally get into one of my favorite mods. Um, and that's Forestry. Um, I've decided that um, I, I'm going to make a different power source for my Tesseracts to power everything that I make um, just so that everything that's running on the house will be running off of lava um, but everything that's um, going elsewhere will be made out of a different power source. So that's what over the next few episodes I'm going to be building up to is um, building up to having um, a new power system. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to work in that direction by building a forestry multi-farm. Now I had to make a decision of whether to use um, Mine Factory Reloaded or use forestry and in my opinion I think for what I'm wanting to do Mine Factory Reloaded would be a better better tool to to make this tree farm here. Um, but I'm going to use the mine or forestry multi-farm one because I've never made it before. I used to be really, really into the the arboretum and the logger, um, and all that other fun stuff from forestry is some of my favorite stuff. But I've never used the multi farm before, um, so really looking forward to digging into it and getting it going. So why don't we just not um, delay anymore and let's go ahead and dive into forestry. So if you um, want to get into multi blocks. You are you know, multi-block farm, multi-farm, farm structure. You have a choice of how big you want to make it. Um, I wanted to make the largest one possible. Um, and I'll, I'll have a little link in the description to the farm structure guide. Um, and it tells you pretty much how much of what you need, how big you need to make it. And I'm making the, the largest that it can go. Um, and it's very, very large. So this is going to be pretty expensive. Um, it's going to t take a lot of tools. It's going to take a, a lot of, of copper and tin and some other um, fun things like that. But I think it's going to be worth it. Um, yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and dive in today to forestry multi farms. All right. First thing that we're going to need, and you're going to need about a hundred of these, is what's called a farm block. Now the farm block consists of two pieces of copper, um, so if I'm making over 100, I'm going to need 200 pieces of copper. And Let me make sure I have that. Yeah, I got 700 pieces of copper. We're good. I'm going to need stone bricks. Uh, let's see, I should have stone bricks. How many stone bricks? Um, for each recipe, you need one. For each farm block, you need one stone brick. So I'm going to need about 100 stone bricks. Looks like I'm good there. Um, half slabs. You need two half slabs for every farm block. Um, so I have, uh, let's see, how many half slabs do I have? I'm going to need to make a bunch of half slabs. So let's grab some wood. What just happened there? That was crazy. All right. Here's a bunch of wood. All right, so we need at least 200 half slabs. I'm getting close. Yeah, there we go. Over 200. All right, so 
Next thing we need is a 10 electron cube. I'll show you what I'm, I'm making here. We're going to pull it up. Farm blocks. Blocks. Farm, not wood. You suck. Oh my god. Alright, try this. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> nope. Farm block. Previous. This is what we're talking about. All right, next thing we need is a 10 electron tube. What the heck is a 10 electron tube? And we need about 100 of them. So let's click on it. Let's see. Um, it's a bunch of tin, it's a bunch of redstone in a thermonic fabricator. All right, so pretty crazy. What is a thermonic fabricator? It's another tool I'm going to have to make. I'm going to have to build it today. So, thermonic fabricator. Thermionic. All right, let's back this up. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> there you are, the thermionic fabricator. Okay, it is a sturdy casing, a chest, gold, and glass. So what is a sturdy casing? It's bronze ingot in a chest shape. Well, let's see if we have this. Do I have everything I need to make that? Yes, I do, and that was all the bronze that I had. Yay, all right, so pull that up. And the only thing I don't think I have is a chest. Um, so let's just grab some wood and make a chest. I love, oh yeah, wood, not a chest. I love forestry, I really do. I love all these um, different machines that you get. Um, it's really one of the first mods I got into whenever I started playing because um, I wanted a tree farm to make charcoal, so I made the forestry arboretum, arboretum, whatever it is. <coughs> so, I kind of became not an expert on it. I thought I was an expert, um, just because I could make it and make it work. Um, but yeah, it, yeah. woohoo! All right, so got my thermionic fabricator, and it does need power to work. Um, so we're just going to throw it down here on the end of my line, and this should be good. Yeah, it's starting to fill up on power. Okay, so for the 10 electron cubes, um, if we look, let's pull up the recipe, 10 electron. Okay, so four 10 electric cubes get made for every part of the recipe. Um, so we need glass or sand. Um, you need five pieces of tin and two redstone for every single thing. So if I've done the math, um, I need at least 100 pieces of tin and 50 pieces of redstone, and I'd say about a stack of glass or sand. Um, so let's pull everything out. Let's get the glass first, hardened glass. Glass, we'll pull out a stack of glass. Uh, let's see, we need tin and tin ingot. Let's use this first, and, oh, so close, so close, so close, put that gunpowder up, all right, and we need some redstone, how much redstone, I said about 50, so we'll just grab a stack of redstone, all right, Let's go down here to our thermonic fabricator. Let's throw everything into the good old feeder. And let's set it up. All right, two pieces of redstone. You notice it's not actually taking um, the recipe. It's just, here, let's reverse this. Let's use the industrial craft tin. And then the thermal expansion tin. I don't know if that's really important to, to do it that way. All right. So as you see, we got liquid glass. And we've got our electron tubes ready to go. So let's make them. So we need about 100. So let's just grab a lot of them. Whoops, I did the math wrong. Alright, how many more will I need? 
Let's go get some tin. Do 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 do. Tin. Go back over here. Put the tin in. And put the redstone in. See if this gets me on through. Now we're getting close. All right. So now we got more than we wanted, but that's okay. So let's throw these in here. Let's throw the stone bricks in there. And let's get rid of some of this dirt. All right. So now we should have everything that we need to make our farm blocks. So we'll need a hundred farm blocks in order to make this sucker work. So let's pull it up. F A R F A R M farm blocks. Where are you, farm block? Right there. Okay. Put the question mark there. And bop. And we need a half. That'll work. <laughs> Whoops. All right. It's good to make a little extra, right? Right? Yeah. I'm lying. Okay. So next thing that we're going to need, we'll put three farm blocks back into um the system because we need some more blocks to make what we want. Um, we need a farm gearbox, a farm hatch, and a farm valve. Now these three things are all part of this one little machine um, so we'll go ahead and look them up. They're all right here, pretty easy to make. The farm gearbox is like three tin gears in the farm block. Farm hatch is two tin gears and a trap door. And farm valve is one tin gear and two pieces of glass. So I'm going to get all these made, um, and then we'll go outside and get started making everything. Okay, so I am out here where I'm going to build my multi-block farm. And you see I've kind of cleared out the area, and I'll talk you through um, why I, I'm doing it this way. Um, but first thing, let's build the machine itself, okay? And to build this machine itself, you're going to have to build a structure that's four blocks high um, and five blocks by five blocks. So it's a five by five by, five by four. Now, to make the, the different machines, the different blocks, you don't have to do it this way, but this is the largest one available, and the, I want the largest that I can possibly get. Um, so, I mean, there's like a 3 by 5 by 4 there's a 4 by 4 by 4 um, but it has to be four blocks high. Um, so, um, let's go ahead and dig everything down um, to get going here. Okay, now it is a good idea to dig a little deeper than... Um, I went three blocks deeper, maybe four blocks deeper than I needed to go. That way I can access everything from the bottom, which is something that you're going to want to be able to do. Um, so I've got that set up. Um, let's go ahead and pillar our way out of here. Oh, no. Let's add one more. Dirt. Joe Dirt. -a. All right. So we're up. Okay. So now I want everything... Um, with my block to my farm to be this high. So what we're going to do is we're going to build in the multi-farm like this. Now, you've got to at least have everything flush with where you want your stuff to, to grow or sticking out kind of like I have. So you can build this to where this is sitting on top of everything or you can build it to where um, it's kind of like what it's what I'm doing now where you know it's sticking some up some underground or you can do it like almost completely underground but you want this to be um, at least level with where you want everything. You don't want this and then put dirt on top of it. It's not going to work. Um, it needs to be flush with um, where you're wanting to build or where you're wanting to plant. All right, so we've got the the basics of the structure somewhat built. Let's hop up here just to get closer, and we need to take it down to. 
which is like right around me. Boo 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 boo. Okay, where is my torch? Here's the torch. Let's put a torch down here. Okay, I am kind of doing this a little wrong. Um, clear out at least three spaces on the side for um, for your gearbox, your valve, and your hatch. So I've got that going. All right, so I'm pulling this down. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey! All right. No. All right. Let's get up there. Yay, bat. I love my bat. All right. Pop that right there. Pop that right there and here. And now we're good to go. I think everything filled in. Um, there is a way to check um, and I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, but you need to add your gearbox, your valve, and your um, oh dang it, what's the name of the other one? The hatch, that's right. Gearbox, valve, and hatch. Alright, so let's add our valve right there. Let's add our gearbox right there. And let's add our hatch right there. Okay. So the gearbox, actually let's move the gearbox to the other side. Let's move the gearbox to right there. Okay, so the gearbox controls the power. This is where the power is going to come in. The valve is where the water is going to come in if you need water. And the hatch is where items can go in and out whenever you want to automate this. Now, we're going to be automating this, so to speak. Um, but, yeah. So, if everything is working and it's it's dark out, there should be a band around everything like that where you can see. Whoops. Now if I click on the device you see that it's set up and it's working. Um, so everything is good. Alright, so I'm going to go sleep and then we'll come back and mess with this just a little more. Sorry about that. I got a phone call. Um, so got a little distracted there. Alright, so I have the power running into the gearbox and you notice that it is receiving power and all is good. Okay, next thing is the farm hatch and this is where things will go um, mostly out nothing really will go in after this thing gets going um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up to a ender chest and I upgraded my power system with another um, disk of power just so um, not power um, storage system with another um, disk of storage um, just so what um, is produced from here, there'll be plenty of room for it. Um, so yeah, we're going to put the little item duck um, down here. We're going to feed it into my end chest. All right, so that should be good. All the items that come in go in there. Now, here is the farm valve. Um, and it needs to be connected up to um, aqueous accumulator or something to pump water up to it. So I went ahead and made an aqueous accumulator um, just because um, might as well set it up. Um, but I'm not going to fill it up with water yet. Um, you know, it may be a waste. But I do have the fluid ducts that I need. Um, so let's add the fluid ducts to it and everything should be good to go. It will start collecting water. 
Um, I can go get buckets of water and fill it up. It's really all it needs. But this should be enough to get this thing going. So now all that I would really need is um, the saplings for it to um, work and fertilizer for it to work and dirt. Now let me go sleep and then we'll talk about the layout of this farm. Okay, so in the farm, um, after you build this and place the structure, if you notice and look, it's running, it's got power, it's got water, water's all, all collected up, um, and this is how um, everything would be planted, um, just having trees there. This is the mode also um, that it's going to be using the arboretum, I guess is how you call it. Um, so uh, you need to know how to set it up. Now what you do is you, for this size, um, and as I said, I've got the, the link in the description to show you what you would need if you use a smaller size farm. Um, for this size, you need to go six blocks out. You see, I've done that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've dug it out on all the sides. And then you just need to go diagonally that's not diagonally. Boop, 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 boop. Go diagonally to the other side. Once again, there is a diagram on, uh, should, should be found in the description. All right, so we have that here. Now, what we want to do next is we want to tell this where to plant. And we want it to plant right here, um, actually on top of here. So where this band would be is where the dirt would go. So to tell it where to plant, what you need to do is you need to fill in the area with bricks. So what I'm gonna, or some kind of block, something to differentiate um, between everything else. So what, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a layer of stone bricks right here just so that it knows where to place the dirt. Okay, so as I'm doing this, um, I wanted to make sure I'm not giving you any false information. So the bricks, according to the wiki, to the and this is all on the same page as the diagram of it, um, they have to be either stone bricks, chiseled stone bricks, cracked, mossy, smooth sandstone, chiseled sandstone, um, plain old bricks, um, or nether bricks. And that's just so it knows what where to put the dirt. It's going to put the dirt on top of this level. So it's going to assume, um, the machine's automatically going to assume that this is where I want it to plant everything. So I'm going to continue playing, laying down the stone bricks, um, and then all will be good. Okay, now, you don't have to do this, and I'm doing it. Um, and I also just want to talk about it, because this is something um, that I, a mod that I've added to my world just because I've um, watched an Attack of the B Team and I'm probably wanting to start an Attack of the B Team game um, but uh, I fell in love with the chisel mod um, so I've added it to my world and what we're going to do is we're going to make a special looking stone just for that the boundary the outskirt of um, my farm I like this one right here the ornate stone panel um, so we're gonna make a bunch of them and we're just going to set them around the outside probably need to go pick up some more stone bricks um, but this is just for me um, just to show the outline of my farm and I mean it'll be pretty obvious um, just kinda looking at it but that's okay I want it to look cool all right, so we are nearly almost done here. All right, so what's next for this farm is um, make sure everything's hooked up, power's hooked up. It's set up here um, for this. We're gonna add a servo just to be safe. Um, and we're gonna interact with this and we're going to um, turn off 
a redstone signal, so it should just pour right into um, my in chest. Now the other thing that we would probably want to do um, at a later date is once I get, and we'll talk about this, once I get a way to automate fertilizer, um, a way to just input fertilizer into this machine um, through that through that hatch. Um, but here's all that we need to get everything going. Okay, we're going to need to add some dirt so that it has dirt to plant. We're going to need to add saplings so that it has saplings to plant. And we're going to need to add some sort of fuel or fertilizer. So let's add the fertilizer first. Let's add the saplings next. It has nowhere to go. Um, we'll just add a whole bunch of them. And then let's add the dirt last. Let's go ahead and add the dirt. And this should be it in order to get this machine going. So let's click on it. Let's watch. And it is, should be planting the dirt. Yeah, look, there's the dirt. It's putting down dirt and saplings, which is what we want. And now I'm too far away. Let's go over here. Now, like the old Arboretum, unlike the old Arboretum, um, whenever it was done planting, um, it would, um, or done with the saplings, what it would do is it would turn the dirt that it's in into sand. And I don't believe this does that anymore. Um, I could be wrong, and if I am, we'll, we'll correct that mistake. Um, but there should be enough dirt, and it won't need any more dirt for this. Um, everything should be good, um, good to go. So, got the fertilizer going. It's running. Um, got it set up with oak saplings because I want, um, as I haven't started like cross breeding, cross pollinating anything yet. Um, but as far as I know, oak saplings produce the most saplings. Um, and also produces apples. Um, so if I got into tree breeding here in the future, I could make a higher sappiness count um, and a higher apple count. Um, but here, um, it's going to uh, collect everything. It's going to collect all the saplings that come from um, this tree as it dissipates. And they'll go back into here, and then once this is full, it's going to go into my um, AE system through the inner chest. Any apples that come up, it's going to go through straight to um, the, the inner chest. Um, don't really need anything else right now. As you can see where this was right here I'm assuming it did not turn to sand so everything's good everything's running the way it should the dirt's filling in and it's getting fertilized need to make sure that um, we eventually get to where I don't have to keep adding fertilizer to it where fertilizer automatically will go in um, but, do, 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 do. Right, so this machine keeps going. Seems to be working well. Um, yeah, we'll uh, figure out the fertilizer system uh, a little bit later. We won't do it today, but yeah, looks like everything's going. It's it's running as it should, um, and if it is running as it should, we should find that there is now um, oak block or oak wood in our AE system uh, as it spits everything out. So. As I said, I'm going to start moving towards setting up a biofuel system, which is why I'm setting this up. Um, all right, so everything looks good. Seems to be working as it should. Um, here's a, a tree right there that should get harvested very soon. I said it should get harvested very soon. Voila! There you go. Look at that. And goes in here. You'll see it. And probably already missed it. Um, goes through there and then goes down to the ender chest underneath. And the end chest goes straight into my ME system. Um, so that's where all the saplings and logs and everything's going to collect at. 
All right, so I think I am good for today. Um, yeah, hopefully, uh, if you guys have never done a multi-farm before, hopefully this has helped you out a little bit. Um, certainly, I find these things very, very useful. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, probably the MFR system um, would be the easiest way to make the most trees for what I, I'm wanting to do. Um, but I've already I've already done the MFR, so it's time to, to mess with the um, multi farm, and I will probably switch switch the two to where the multi farm just makes my wheat for all my breeding. Um, but you never know. Everything should be good. There's yeah, oak wood in the system. Let's look and see. Oak, yeah, we got plenty of oak wood. We got saplings. Everything's good. Let's check apples. See if any apples have come through. Ah, I doubt that's all come from this, but it, you know, there are 12 in there now. Very cool. All right, well, again, this is Darth Tamanis. Um, feel free to leave a comment. Love interacting with everybody. Um, I also, yeah, would appreciate subscribe to my channel. Um, thanks for watching. Share this video if you found it useful. Um, leave any constructive criticism that you want. Uh, anyways, hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.